Hello, in this video I will show you how to create multiple columns or multiple bars in this basic bar chart of chart.js. Now, I did a previous video where I showed you how to create one simple bar, just a basic bar chart, but I thought I would need to improve on that a bit and here's what I'm doing. I'm doing uh, two bars, two columns, whichever way you like, I guess. And it will be a tiny bit of an improvement, but uh, if you want to learn from scratch well, what to do, how to set it up, take a look at my previous video. It will be quite quick and it will get you started with the Chart.js library. I'll give you my opinion as well. You can find uh, all those things in the link uh, in the description. You can also find my course, my Blazor course, in the link as well. Uh, so, we have two columns right here, quite simple, thou1, okay, series like that, thou2, thou3, and if I go on one or the other, I get numbers 1 or numbers 2, okay. Now this is again based on that previous example, pretty much the same thing, just we have a, a two of them. And we have different colors for each one of them, okay? We have different colors and one says number one, the other says number two. That's it. Let's take a look at the code. Let's see what we have. Uh, quite a simple arrangement. I'm going to stop it. And let's take a look. Now, in this case, in this case, data to display will not be, will not be an array of double values it will be an array of arrays of double values, okay? It will be an array of arrays. That's what it will be. Uh, and to create uh, two of them columns, what you do is you do the data as usual, okay, the data. Then we have labels. Now labels is just the same simple array, okay? It doesn't have another dimension in the array, nothing like that. It's just a straightforward array, okay? Both two columns will have one label. That's it. Now then, on to the data set. And this is where you change something. Everywhere else, uh, you don't really need to do anything, okay? You don't need to do anything, but this is where you do things. Now, look at this. This is actually a list, an array of sorts, right? the data sets that's your list so if you want to add another one you simply add another item as you can see right here we have it we have another item right here numbers two it says right and that's it we have label numbers one that's the first one right and then we have data to display you see zero okay index zero but in that index it's not a simple single value it's actually an array and the same goes for the second one okay second item a different label we want different label right but we have also different array the second array now the way you provide it it is all up to you this is just for example purposes you could actually do something a bit more dynamic. You can put this whole thing into a for loop or some kind of a loop somewhere and uh, do a more dynamic approach where you don't know the number of these. Uh, so you do a more dynamic thing and it's all possible. It's all quite easy and straightforward to do. As long as you know the basics, you can take a look at that video. Uh, you'll find out the basics and I do believe this is the best library, the best sort of uh, free library that you can access uh, to have some charts in your website, web application or whatever you have uh, with Blazor, right? Uh, with Blazor or with JavaScript, just regular JavaScript. It is regular JavaScript, uh, nothing too fancy here. And as for the Blazor itself, we have the same kind of a thing, invoke void async on a button click. Uh, it's, it calls on or invokes generate bars function, right? And then we have, as mentioned previously, double, double, right? A list or an array of double array, okay? An array of double array. And we have a couple of them. 
And that's all there is to it. Now, do take a look at my Blazor course. You will definitely learn something interesting and something quite useful. Also, subscribe to this channel and like the video if you like it.